Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty! Mama Z is here! We are back with our original Ginger Batman cookie decoration character transformation video! In our previous episodes we created Mario as well as Princess Peach! And yes, these both are delicious gingerbread man cookies. Today we have another character joining the team and that's right, this is Luigi. And these are the following ingredients that we will need for this transformation. Fondant as well as white frosting. With this white frosting I customized the following colors. We have blue, green, dark brown, light brown, peachy color for the skin and white. Well, I didn't really customize the white, I just scooped that white and put it into the bag. Then I have black and blue sparkle gels. I do have other colors of sparkle gel. I'm not quite sure if we will need to use any other colors. Then I have a variety of candies for decoration. Here are a few more. Here are my baking tools as well as black edible marker. I have a metal tray under the cookie for the support. Of course, we need giant gingerbread man cookie. And that's right, if y'all watching our gingerbread man cookie videos, you know I always say the same thing. Don't forget to protect your working space since this activity can get quite sticky and messy. First, let's go ahead and remove our cookie out of the packaging. There we go. I can smell all the way from this distance that it smells super good. It has very nice and strong ginger smell. Also sweet. It smells delicious. I forgot to show you my little sketch. I always do a little sketch and mark the colors that I will need to create. So here's my picture for the inspiration and I'm gonna start with his boots. I did prepare two different shades of brown. I have darker, looks like a uh, milk chocolate color and then a lighter shade of a brown for the very bottom as well as shoelaces so let's start with this dark brown color first and paint his boots taking my tool next and spreading the frosting Next, I'm taking my lighter brown color. This is actually almost identical to the actual color of the cookie. But anyways, and I'm gonna add the bottom of his boot as well as shoelaces. Next, let's go ahead and move on to his blue jean overalls. I'm gonna use my little orange plastic knife to spread the blue frosting. For the straps, I'll use this blue writing gel. Using these darker shade snowflake candies, I'm going to define the belt section of his overalls as well as the front pocket. And I'll paint the inside of the pocket with this blue sparkle gel. After that, I'm going to add two chocolate candies as the buttons on his overalls. Perfect. And I'm going to paint his green shirt next. Let's spread the green frosting also. I just wanted to mention that this color could not turn out any better. It's absolutely perfect color match. Next, using white color frosting, let's go ahead and add his gloves. I have two shades of a green Christmas trees, light green and dark green. I am gonna use a light green to decorate his color with. And I'll use these two green candies for the buttons on his shirt. One right here and one right there. Next, let's go ahead and move on to his face. 
Looking great, next I'm going to spread it. Looks like we need to add a little bit more to make the color more even. I'll be using this large size orange chocolate candy for his nose and for his eyes I will need to use fondant. Rolling fondant nice and flat and cutting out the shape of Luigi's eyes. Let's place his eyes down and add some blue color. Next let's add his mustache. Next, let's go ahead and add his nose, perfect, and his lips. I ended up needing more gel colors. I'm glad I had this pink one. Also carefully, I'm going to add his brows. Now since the blue gel is a little bit dry, I'm going to go ahead and add a black in the middle and a little white snowflake candy as the light reflection. Alright, it's time to put our almost finished Luigi cookie aside so we can use some fondant and make a green cap for him. I'm gonna put some fondant on the bottom for the support and now let's go ahead and put his green cap on top. It turned out to be absolutely perfect, way better than I expected. I'm a little nervous about this section right here under the cap. I am still not sure how I'm going to paint it. Possibly I will have to use one of my edible markers of green color. But first I'm gonna go ahead and color the top with green frosting. And here is the marker, edible marker. Oh, and one real quick note, they do sell fondants of different colors. So it is probably easier just to go ahead and get a green color fondant for Luigi's cap. But I like to make things a little bit more challenging, I guess. Right. I think he is looking perfect. We just need to add a letter L, his hair, and his ears. So there are two things that you can do with a letter L and the white circle behind it. I prefer to use white frosting and then use colorful candies for the letters. This was the way how I decorated Mario's cap also. Or you can go ahead and use a white fondant and instead of candies use either edible marker or writing gel. Next I'll add his hair. and his ears, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of um, base with fondant. And voila! Here is Luigi transformation into the giant gingerbread man cookie, or vice versa, giant gingerbread man cookies transformation into Luigi character from the Super Mario Bros. movie. And now we have Mario, Princess Peach, and Luigi. If you haven't watched these videos yet, make sure to check it out on our Sweet and Crafty YouTube channel. Click the like button if you think I did a good job transforming this giant gingerbread man cookie into Luigi character. And let me know in the comments below which character shall I transform into cookie next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!